Nerd Army, welcome back to the channel today. Secret Evasion Episode 2. I really enjoyed the first episode. If you want to see the reaction, it's already in the channel. And hopefully it does keep that same pace. I thought the ending of Episode 1 was very brutal. It does show you how powerful the scrolls actually are when you can be anyone. You're confusing Nick Fury. That's a big deal. If you think anything in Episode 2 looks good, smash the like button. And now, before we actually check this out, we do need to hear from today's very special video sponsor. Today's video is once again proudly sponsored by Fan Home. You can now build the most powerful object in the universe, ladies and gentlemen, every single month. Fan Home have now made the Infinity Gauntlet, which, if you know me, Thanos, not only is he the greatest MCU villain of all time, he's one of the best villains, period, and now I can build his gauntlet every single month, and this ain't some plastic little thing, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That is not how Fan Home operate, ladies and gentlemen. This is 73 centimeters full scale. Every single month, you're gonna get new pieces so you can build your very own Infinity Gauntlet full scale. Each Infinity Stone lights up with LEDs. As always, licensed by Marvel Studios, and this is made from high quality plastic and metal. Not only that, but each piece is individually painted so you get that nice, like, chromey finish that you see in the movie. And don't worry, Fan Home have got you covered. The batteries are included, mate. You'll get instructions every single month so you know exactly what you need to do for the next piece of the gauntlet, along with the high quality magazine that you know you're gonna get each month from Fan Home. And the standard thing you're gonna get t shirts, mugs, posters, you name it, bro, they got you covered. And if you subscribe before the end of June, you will get a free 1 6 scale. Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. And if you really want to flex and you go for the premium option, you're going to get that big boy base that the gauntlet sits in. It's very sick. Every single month, I'm going to be going live on YouTube to actually build the gauntlet, and I can't wait to build it with you guys and girls. If you want to get involved, check out the link in the description so you can start building your own gauntlet. And at this point, Fan Home have just taken over my entire collection. Currently, I'm building Iron Man. I'm building R2-D2. I've got Star Wars ships. I've got 1-6 scale Marvel figurines. And I've got the greatest Star Wars encyclopedia coming to your boy every single month. And now I've got the gauntlet. This is going amazing. Amazing. To be honest, any fandom that you like, Fan Home have definitely got you covered. If you like Transformers, Fast and Furious, wherever it is, they got you covered. They got something for you. Check it out in the description. As always, big up Fan Home. Thanks for once again sponsoring your boy. You guys are moving insanely god tier right now, and I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Big up Fan Home. And now back to the video. Build activity. Loving this. Loving this they would be coming from a Loving this little flashback team. Come on now. I trust anyone, not even our own man. Hey, the DAG, no, yeah, on Sam Jackson in the Captain Marvel movie was mwah. 1997, two years later, that's like London. Brixton, London. Not very far, well, sort of far. Still London, but if part of London, from your boy. <laughs> this is Gravik. Gravik. Ah, that ain't good, mate. You know it's very dangerous. Mm. I'm not afraid. I can see you now. Yes, mate. Yes! Mm. Mate, the de aging. <laughs> Looks so good. Really, really good. Scattered across the galaxy. But for those of you who braved the journey here to Earth, you did so for one reason. This man. Bigging up Nick Fury. That's what I want to see, mate. Ever since... I... You phrased that. Almost ever since. Sam Jackson, he is smooth, mate. While you work to keep my home safe, Carol mm. Danvers and I will find you a new one. I like it. Very sick. Really enjoying this flashback. Yes. Boy, the, the makeup and prosthetics, yeah, on the actual face... And then the CG to like morph them back is really good in this season. Well, this show. <laughs> that transition into this was really naughty, by the way. Mm. Infiltrating. Come on, Khaleesi. <laughs> Ain't no way you're about to. Ah, never mind. Yeah, they did throw Nick Fury in the back of the van. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. Here we are, the uh, dodgy AI-generated intro, which, um, 
I actually did make a video on that. If you want to see it, it's on the second channel. I'll leave it down below somewhere. I talk like just nerdy new stuff. Where's the Moscow Warsaw? Здесь больше шансов встретить инопланетянина. Yeah, the CG is sick. It's so sick in this show. At the destruction of Skrullos. You know everything there is to know about it, period. Name of the game is tell me something I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, Sam Jackson, he's so sick, bruv. The million of us that were left, we fled. Interesting. Tell me something I don't know. All right, mate. There's a million scrolls walking amongst us right now. Have you lost your reptilian ass mind? <laughs> I had two choices. I could let my people be annihilated or summon them here to Earth. What would you have done? This ain't about me. All oh, right, but you find using us as your spies and your air envoys, as long as it's on your terms. The host. Oh. Huh? Because you were gone. And I didn't think you were coming back. I really didn't. And you know what? Even when you did come back, there was no talking to you about anything real. Your boots barely hit earth. And oh, it's too heavy here, man. I gotta go up to my space station. You've been up there for years. You knew how to get in touch with me. Damn, he's letting it rip on him, man. On Earth. Humans can't coexist with each other, Talos. You facts. We've been at war with each other since we could walk upright. They Big facts, bruv. Huge facts right now. Planet for another species. That whole scene was amazing. Beautiful acting, man. Really sick. Quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you be one of those bastards who gives me a platitude when I'm looking for the truth. Oh, my days. <laughs> Someone set a trap. For her? Oh, for me. Someone wanted to hurt me. So they hurt her. So you're the reason I'm yep. taking my daughter back home in a box. Knew that was coming. You're Nick Fury. Mm. Fury had believed in you. Mm. She would have followed you to the gates of hell and back. Oh, everyone keeps saying like Nick ain't the same, bro. You know what I mean? That's a, the thing of this whole show, it seems. I wanted to see how much of him was left. It's just vapors. Old. You know, I could have killed him if I wanted to. The whole thing of this show is that Nick Fury ain't like Nick Fury before the blip ha happened uh, and now he's like a shell of what he used to be, man. You know by the end, he's going to come back swinging. Madam Prime Minister. This is mad, you know. He's a really good villain. So far, it's pretty good. Playing the man's game, using the man's fork and knife. Better to behave as a human than as a dog. Mm. <laughs> I quite like dogs. So do I, mate. Better than humans. In fact, I prefer My, You know what, this guy? He ain't too bad, bro. The purpose of tonight is to determine what punishment, if any, should be meted out on the individual who has imperiled us. Or ah, that would be him. Over 2,000 innocent humans. Children. And yet you don't seem remotely remorseful. What the hell gives you the right to disobey this council? What gives me the right? Mm -hmm. Here we go, mate. My man hates Nick Fury, boy. He hates him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You know, guys, I'm about to villain life. And uh, he's pretty solid so far, man. We need to streamline our chain of command. Democracy is fine for peacetime, but whilst at war, we need a single commander whose war power is total and unchecked. Don't no. give it to God. him. Therefore, I nominate. There's Grant. no way. Sorry, what are you doing? You were in on this with him the entire time. Sit yourself down, Sergio. I'm not done yet. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the commander of NATO. I can mobilize a million troops at this level. Man got karate chopped, fam. <laughs> Man, he, he. The embarrassment. Is real right now. <laughs> Damn boy, my man just got a power upgrade from just speaking. 
Damn. I will not support your war. Tell him. And I do not submit. No. Tell him. He's smiling. If I had another android like you, I could take on the universe. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of spooky, man. Real talk. My man came back a goddamn general, you know. I do like this whole thing of the show that she's now undercover, mate. Loving that. Proper spy ting. What are they doing in here, bruv? This is a mad ting. What are they doing in this lab, boy? I have no idea, man, but I need to know. Soon as. Colonel, are you denying that two of your citizens, uh, Mr. Nicholas Fury? Nicholas Fury? God, I hate that. <laughs> Mr. Fury and Ms. Hill may have traveled to Moscow, which, if true, at any rate, would have been in their capacity as private citizens. Yeah, tell them, Brody. Shush. <laughs> Slovakia rolls its eyes at me one more time. I'm going to put on the suit and carpet bomb it. Why are you here? That's <laughs> what we want to see. I want to see it more than anything. <laughs> I'm afraid sensitivity is all you're going to be getting from us. Right? Man, like Rhodey. Let's go, my man. Loving this upgrade. Rhodes. Nice suit. Oh, Ooh! Right. Yes, mate. He's there. Government salary. Yeah, well, my other suit's made of titanium, so this actually constitutes considerable savings. Titanium and alloy. Can't even fucking say it. Titanium alloy. <laughs> so frustrated. What's the matter? Croatia talking crap? Slovakia. Well, carpet bomb near ass. Yes, mate. Nick knows what's up. <laughs> you should be worried about spending the rest of your days in the Siberian retirement community. <laughs> your face is all over CCTV footage. I was there trying to stop the attack. Oh, well, excellent job at that, by the way. Yeah. 10 out of 10 performance. Damn, boy. That was a quick refill. What do you mean, how much do I know about them? What if I told you they were all spies? Nah, mate. Can't be. Hydra? Yeah, if Hydra was a bunch of green guys who could <laughs> shapeshift into your daddy. <laughs> I miss Hydra. Red Skull. One of the best ever, man. Alien species that had sent a few of its light ships crashing down to Earth. The Pentagon was concerned that they might get into their heads to... Uh, Invade us one day from the inside. That invasion. Rhodey's got the information, my man. And, and here's the crazy part. We're being invaded and we can't even tell who the invaders are. It's actually really goddamn scary if you think about it, which the show's doing a good job at, man. I'm here as an envoy of the United States government, Fury. The job is political. I remember when your job was protecting the planet. We protect. <sighs> yes. Men who look like us don't get promoted because of who our daddies know. Every ounce of power we wrestle from the vice grip of the mediocre Alexander Pierces who run this world has earned in blood. So let's make the power mean something. Help a brother out. Mate, there is so many good conversations in this episode. Dialogue's amazing, mate. These men are going to escort you outside, then you're going to the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I had travel plans. <laughs> the enemy is a million times more dangerous than Hydra, but they can only be vanquished by you. Alone. Yeah. The one man alone. <laughs> to be able to sit across from a man we greatly admire, with whom we share an entire professional, personal, ancestral history Acting with, boy. and to tell him without any reservation really good. that he's fired. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, you better keep drinking those drinks, fam. To fire me? Nobody sent me. I volunteer. Oh, mate, Rhodey's not playing games, boy. Brother. Nah, this is matting. Move. Are you Ooh. seriously under the impression? Yes. Took me of my title. I relinquished my DNA. Careful, here. <laughs> Let's effing go, mate. I'm Nick Fury. Even when I'm out, I'm in. Bruv, this is doing bits for me, mate. Come on, Nick Fury, my guy. Where is your safe house? Didn't your mother ever warn you you could lose an eye by beating your meat like that? 
Uh, I've thrown everything at him and he hasn't said a word. What makes you think you can get him to speak? You know, he's going to speak immediately, bruv. Alone at last. Now, shall we do this the easy way or the other way? I'm going to break these chains and then I'm going to break every bone in your body. Ooh. <laughs> the other way it is. Yeah, yeah. Just go straight to it. F it. <laughs> oh my god, she cut his goddamn finger off, brother. <laughs> Well, now that's confirmed, let's party, shall we? Shit. Shit playing games, mate. Probably couldn't show that for YouTube. Might have had to cut that off, but you get the idea. Snip, snip. <laughs> this is going to be a bad day for you, brother. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, this thing's acting well quick. I need to know where Gravik is yeah. and where he'll be. I don't know what it's well. Graphic keeps everything a secret. And what secrets doesn't he keep? Come on, mate, you better start talking, boy. Building a machine. What mm. kind of machine? I think it's to make us stronger. Right, if they do anything like some super scroll thing, I'm just saying this show will be very, very sick. Some married couple. What's their name? She's brilliant at this, man. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but if I don't get a name, Graphic won't get the chance to kill you. She's amazing, man! The name's Dalton. Oh, you see, that wasn't so terribly difficult, was it? <laughs> Give me a sausage! This guy's too much, man! That was so sick. That caught your boy off guard, man. Ooh. Ooh, this is what I want to see. Sounds like your lift is here. <laughs> She's gonna escape now, don't you? She's sick, man. Jesus. Yeah, boy, he's getting John Wick. He is a naughty boy. Yo, these kills are sick. Nothing. Just lies. That's all I swear. He's about to die, man. Ain't no way he believes him. Ain't no way. He's dead. He is dead. Man just said, did he make it home? Almost there, bro. And he's about to pop him. Yep. Oh, she fell out one. That is not good. She transformed back well quick. Ooh, I, I. Let's go, Nick. My man. Let's go. All right, review time. It's definitely much slower than episode one. Obviously, they always do that, man. Episode one, they it starts with a bang. They want to reel you in. This is very much like setting the pieces. There was a lot, a lot of amazing chats, man. Uh, Nick on the train. And then Nick with Rhodey. They were like god tier performances, man. Just amazing acting, amazing dialogue. We're getting some more information of what's going on. My man's got huge amounts of power now. So, uh, and he got it well quick, mate. General Scroll, whatever his fucking name is, bruv. He's moving mad now. And if they're building something to create Super Scroll, if you know what that is, you know that's not a joke. Uh, that would be very, very sick. Um, and uh, to be honest, hopefully we get that by the end. As a villain, He's doing very good. Probably one of the best villains in across all these shows, man. So hopefully he stays as good. Tell me your score down below for your boy. I'm going to go 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was a little bit less than last week's episode. I gave that an 8. Tell me your score down below. That'd be sick. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Tomorrow, The Witcher starts. I'll be getting reactions done for that. Take care. Peace.